Jason, it's been nothing but sunshine and good vibes around the state the last couple of weeks, but the rain has to come sooner or later. Yeah, the whole summer has been pretty mild yeah. and it hasn't had a lot of rain. We've got a drought going on. Temperatures are relatively close to average. It's about to change, though. This is going to be our week where we pivot 68 right now. It is a balmy night. You can feel the humidity as soon as you step out the door. Monday is going to start dry, though, and then bring on the summer rains. I mean, the downpours are coming, especially just a bit away from the coast, even though I expect the coast to get it on it, too. Heat and humidity. That's going to be the theme despite the rain. We're not going to have the big cool down once it rains. How about two o'clock at the coast? That's when the rain begins. So the morning commute, no problems. 60s, warm, clouds roll in tomorrow, not a sunny day. Starting off with some sun early inland and then 85 middle of the day with the rain arriving by later in the evening commute heading up north and central, quicker for the western mountains. Temps are going to be pretty warm by noon. It's going to be 81 in Lewiston. OK, so coming up from the south, Bar Harbor 64 is not a day that you need anything in the way of a coat except for a raincoat late in the day and this time of the year. I mean, umbrella, I really don't want to wear a coat and get soaked and the humidity. Yeah, it's just right. Well, tomorrow's your day for that, but not till late in the day. We'll start with the hour by hour forecast. We get into the overnight, some fog along the coast. Eight o'clock in the morning. Here is that dry morning commute that I was talking about. No problems. But by six o'clock later for the evening commute, see the showers coming up to the foothills, the western mountains. And then after that, the heavy rain moves in, especially inland while you're sleeping at 11 o'clock at night and the southwest interior coast too, but not as heavy. And that continues Monday night into Tuesday. So it is going to be a batch of rain Tuesday, though the coast mostly spared. It's north and the western mountains where that rain pushes in and it's going to be heavy at times. Wednesday is a dry day and then on Thursday staying dry until the afternoon. Here comes another round of thunderstorms. So all of this rain moving through is going to add up to some decent numbers. How about as we get through Monday night? When into Tuesday, more than an inch of rain, Western mountains inland is really going to get hit by this beneficial rain for the Western mountains, not as much for the coast. Seas are two to three feet for tomorrow, a little fog to start the day and the coast. It's going to be rain late Monday, a few leftover thunderstorms, basically just hot and windy Tuesday, Wednesday, hot and dry thunder late Thursday gone by Friday, pop up thunderstorms. Notice I'm going with 90 at the coast Tuesday. That would be the hottest day we've had so far this season. How about inland thunderstorms on and off? A few leftover showers Tuesday, Wednesday, hot and dry, more thunder on Thursday. So we're going to be battling the on and off thunderstorms. The rain buckets going to be filling up for a few spots and the heat and humidity, Sam. I mean, we've been overdue for the heat, the humidity, the rain. So I hope everybody had fun. You know, the whole month of July and June, it was a blast for folks who could enjoy the weekends, but back to reality. Yeah, you got that right. It's time to do some real deal summer for a little while. Yeah, OK, we'll stick it out for now. Thanks, Jason.